So I first got into archaeology when I was younger. We used to go to a museum close to where I live called the Jury War Museum in Leicester. It's got the biggest freestanding Roman wall in the country and there were loads of mosaics and artefacts from all over the site. You could see the walls and the layout of the baths and I really wanted to be the person who could go and see these things for the first time after thousands of years underground. I chose archaeology at Durham because there are so many opportunities to get involved in field work in the, in the archaeology department. There's um, a three, integrated into the first year, three week long digging session uh, into the second year as well. And then from there you get contacts with other people. You can go digging to so many pl other places in the world. Um, and there's so many different um, modules that you can do within, within the course. You can do everything from you know, Paleolithic and you can go all the way up to you know, 17th century things so that, and, and everything in between. It's really, really varied. And Durham itself is a beautiful city. There's, um, there's nothing better than coming in from the train and seeing that view and the cathedral and the castle, it's just lovely. Being a student um, as a BA archaeologist in Durham, um, it's really great. Everyone has a similar ethos of wanting to work, wanting to succeed, and everyone understands that we're all going to struggle at some point, but that we can all help each other through it. And there really was a sense of that. We got to know each other on our course, and you know, we'd meet up and talk about essays and seminars and lectures that maybe we didn't, we didn't quite get, but then we'd work, we'd work through it and we'd then understand it. And ones that some, one person would understand, another person would be able to help each other along. And the city is so small, it's so lovely, that you can go out to buy milk and you just see five people that you know from your course and you can just sort of say, oh, hi, you know, talk to things about with them about that. You never feel isolated and alone. I really enjoyed um, the Field Archaeology of Britain module that I did in the second year, which takes you all the way from the very beginnings of human activity in Britain all the way up to modern, modern things. In the 1960s, we looked at uh, the archaeology of graffiti and post boxes, and we did ev everything else in between. There were uh, three trips integrated into it. So you went out, we saw an Iron Age hill fort, we saw Roman things, and we saw um, castles as well. So you sort of you get to see so much stuff, and it was really great to see that overview and follow everything through in a single area. So in, my, in the Christmas holidays of my second year, I went digging in Oman in the Middle East um, with a field walking project um, that was part of the university run, run by Durham. And we went there and we were trying to find evidence of settlement in an area that no one had been to before, which was really exciting. We didn't know what we'd find or if we'd find anything there at all. And within the first two days, we found a massive Iron Age city that no one knew was there. We were just driving around, looking out the car window, saw lots of little bits of pot and thought, oh, maybe we should sort of see where all this pot's come from. And it was Iron Age and it was huge and there were people trying to build houses on it and we had to stop them. And it was really exciting to be sort of on the front line of doing things like that and in such a cool area of the world that I never would have got the opportunity to travel to had I not been at Durham. So this summer just gone, I was digging in Pembrokeshire in South Wales at a castle called Nevin Castle with uh, Dr. Chris Capel from the department. Uh, it's a 12th century castle that was built in wood and unlike other castles um, in Wales, it wasn't built over extensively in stone, meaning that there's still evidence of the wooden structure, which is really, really important, something that there's often has been lost from the archaeology. It's also a very important site in terms of th our understanding of the development in Wales at this time, because it has more pottery from this site than the whole rest of Wales put together, which is just incredibly exciting, this pulling up pots from the in the bucketful. Um, and it was in terms of a personal experience, it was such a friendly site to dig on. It was no experience was assumed. It was just you got taught everything and really you were allowed to flourish. It was really, really lovely, friendly and a great place to dig. So the biggest thing that I got out of my degree was learning different things that archaeology can entail. Before I come to Durham, I hadn't done any archaeology at all. I'd never been on site or studied archaeology in any way. So it was great to really understand the different things that archaeology can entail. So at the minute, I am currently studying a master's degree in conservation, which isn't something that I ever would have known about before doing the degree, but was introduced to it as one of many, many fields um, as part of the course. And so from that, I really want to take that further and go into jobs in that area.